Hi there, this is Rob at Reason101.net, and I'm back with a few more tricks for the alligator that I'm going to showcase to you. Um, these, uh, let's just uh, get this back to normal here. All right, let's initialize this. All right, so right now we have a Thor being played by a matrix, and the Thor is attached to an alligator. So what you are going to hear is... Now, normally, you have your patterns here that you can play, which give a bunch of different ways that you can play. sound. So basically uh, you can choose between 64 different patterns, but you don't have to use this pattern section. You can turn these patterns off and you can actually take, uh, let's take another matrix. Still getting used to this new menu system. All right, let's take another matrix. Uh, let's send the curve into gate one. Let's send the gate into gate two. And let's take another matrix, and let's send the curve into gate three. So now, when you just, let's just randomize this. Let's take this and let's randomize that. Let's look at the curves. So for this matrix, this curve and this gate down here is going to play the first two filters or play the first two gates over here, and then the third gate is being played by the curve of the other matrix. And both of these stay on, so what you can do is now you can turn off a couple of... And that's essentially how you have um, the matrix playing the, or using the matrix curves and gates to actually play the gates of the alligator, to actually turn them on or off. Okay, so that's one trick. Let's delete those. Now what I'm going to do is do something a little different. I'm going to delete this and this. I'm going to delete the whole darn thing. Okay, let's start off fresh. Let's create a combinator. This next trick, I'm actually going to use the gates of the alligator to play a Kong drum. So let's uh, just delete these. Okay, now in the combinator, let's create a Kong drum designer. Underneath that, let's create an alligator. And underneath that, well, let's actually just do this for now. Let's open up the browser. Let's go to the factory song bank, factory sound bank. Let's go to the Kong patches, and let's take our pop kit. Okay, so you've got a bass drum, snare drum, closed hi-hat, open hi-hat, and they're being played through the matrix right now, which we don't want. Okay, so first things first, let's turn off this pattern. Uh, let's flip this around. Let's take the CV outputs for the gates, um, and let's send them into the gate, the first three drums. switch this to pattern 2. Let's turn it on. Okay, pretty simple stuff. 
Now let's create a switch to turn on the drummer, which we need to basically create a switch for this. And this will be our start drumming. So let's open up the programmer. Let's go to the alligator. And on button one, what we're going to do is we're going to take the pattern and choose pattern enable. And that's our enabler. So that's what starts your drum, your drums going. Now we can even set up a rotary to select the pattern. So under the alligator again, we're going to choose pattern here. So now you can choose between all the different patterns. If I fold this up, you can see it. It's just selecting the pattern over here. keep that on two for now. Okay, that's all well and good, but let's do something a little more interesting. Let's give it a little bit of groove. So let's go down here, hold the shift key down, and create um, a matrix. Change it to curve. And we're going to send the curve output into one of the CV spots in the combinator. We're going to make sure it's unipolar, and we're going to set the trim knob up to 127. Flip it around on the alligator in the programmer. We're going to take CV input 1, that CV that we just set up, and we're going to send that to the shift knob. So it's going to change the shift of the pattern, and it'll change it to do this. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to set a baseline, so on pattern 1, Set a baseline of 50. Let's just make sure it stays. Nope, it's a little too high. There we go. Nope, that's on one, so we might need to do a little lower. Okay, so that's our baseline. The shift of zero. Now let's copy that patch, copy the pattern. Let's go to the second pattern. Let's paste it. Now we can have some fun by changing the groove a little bit. So that changes the groove. So this is how it is normally. And that's with the groove. set that up on a button too, which we'll call Groove. And that will take the matrix. And on button two, we're going to choose Pattern Select. We're going to choose zero as the minimum value. And we're going to choose one as the next value. So when we want the groove, we just turn it on. we don't want that groove, we turn it off. Want to make things even more interesting than that? Well, let's go into our um, pad group assignment. Since we know that this is bass drum 2, this is bass drum 1, what we'll do is we'll do an alternate for the bass drums. And we'll do an alternate for the snare drums. And we'll do an alternate or the open and close hi hat. So now.
now you've got your alligator playing your Kong. And you can add some groove. So those are my two tricks for the alligator. Um, basically all you're doing is you're sealing the gates and as long as you don't have this connected, which you don't need it connected, I forgot to tell you about that, but yeah, don't connect it. Is this going to open up on me? Yes. So let's send the output there, or actually, let's send the output here. Okay. That's all there is to it. You can add your groove, you can turn off your drumming, you can turn on your drumming, you can change your patterns. The other thing you can do if you want to set up a button for the resolution, finally, over here, you can choose between 1 8th or 1 16th. And to do that, just choose the alligator, take button 3, choose resolution, and have 0 and 2 be the assignment. So you can now change it to 16th resolution. Hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial on how to turn your alligator into a Kong drum controller. Again, I'm Rob, and you can come visit me at reason101.net. I will have more tutorials coming your way shortly. Thanks for watching.